Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac. We're due for a random run, and I guess I'm due for a loss, all things considered as well. We've won our last two runs, so when the game sets me up as Samson, I, I completely understand where it's coming from. It probably feels a little bit ashamed. It's probably like, shit man, I have been getting my ass handed to me by this scrub. In case you've forgotten, a scrub is a guy who thinks he's fly, also known as a buster. I think I, you know... Do you think Busta Rhymes ever had anything to say about the song No Scrubs? Maybe, like, you know how You Wanna Know by Alanis Morissette, the one where she talks about giving uh, Dave Coulier a blowjob in the movie theater. They were probably watching Forrest Gump, let's be honest, but um, it's the perfect movie for that kind of atmosphere. I don't know what my tangent here was, but also known as a Busta. Hey, Busta Rhymes should take issue with that. He should say, hey, Lisa Left Eye Lopez, you crazy lady. I, I do think I'm fly, and I should, because I did that song that Watsky stole the beat from, or, you know, ripped the beat from, for his White Guy Raps Fast Real 1080p HD video. In any case, we're playing as Samson. Our last run went uh, wonderfully. Was remarkably, uh, you know, you might not believe this, but more cogent than the commentary in this one so far. I've gone down a, uh, a deep and dark road so far, but I'm excited about that uh, prospect, especially now that we have the D20. And the D20 is... I, I always say that I don't like it as much as the D6, and I think that's true, because it allows you to uh, re-roll consumables, but not re-roll items, and I think re-rolling items is more important for the most part. What do we have? We have one red, half red hardened here, one penny, and one half red hardened here. I think we're going to re-roll these. Uh, that worked out quite nicely, I would say. Um, but yeah, the, the D20, I always feel bad when I get it as Isaac, because I never pick it up. Whenever it shows up, I'm always like, well, I have the D6 already, maybe I'll use it for, like, one blood bank or something, and that'll be that. Um, uh, but getting it as Samson is basically a, uh, a perfect case scenario, because I can totally use that, uh, because I don't have any other spacebar items precluding it right now. So, we might end up going to that library that's on this floor, but I would have to hazard a guess that we probably actually will not. Uh, what does Black Widow actually- oh, that was bad damage. What does Black Widow actually summon as far as enemies go? It looks like they're fat spiders. So, abandon all hope. <clears throat> you were hoping to build rage off of this, uh, this fight. Because I can't even apparently hit them, much less do any damage. But, the good thing about Samson... <clears throat> why is my voice always so jacked up in the morning? I should really, like, drink some water before I start recording, but it's like, nope. Exit Dreamland, enter XSplit. Um... When the Widow actually lands on the spiders, it will crush them. By the way, yes, I got super lucky. Uh, well, first off, I got super lucky to get an HP upgrade, but I also got super lucky that we found that other spirit heart a little earlier on this run. Otherwise, I could have found myself in a truly dire circumstance there. First floor was good. D20 is good. Uh, HP upgrade, extremely important, and... We're going to start to uh, hopefully get some more stuff that will improve our chances even further along. Investation is what it is. We can't re-roll it. Might as well embrace it. It shows up probably ten times more frequently than the mulligan does, which is frustrating for me because the mulligan is a substantially better item. But here is our ideal case scenario here. We uh, probably won't have a... I, I could have re-rolled those bombs in addition to the money that I'm going to get, but I don't think it's that prudent. Um, yeah, I could have... Um, or, I forgot what I was going to say, to be honest with you, but, uh, oh, there's probably not going to be an arcade on this floor, but that's okay because we found the most important part of the arcade for us, the, uh, blood bank right there, and, you know, it's one of those weird things where I'm probably going to end up re-rolling a lot of pennies as a result of having the D20. Maybe that's okay, though. I'm going to pick up these because I imagine we'll probably get a, a much better payout for re-rolling from the blood bank, and, of course, the blood bank also has the ability to pay out with the uh, blood bag. But the other thing, the unsung benefit when you have the D20 of playing uh, the blood bag, or playing the blood bank, I guess I should say, is that if you get the IV bag, it can still be good for you because you can get either money or uh, a lot of reroll targets. Before we play that blood bank, though, I think it's prudent for us to come in here, deal with Duke of Flies. Uh, certainly don't want to find myself in a position where I die on the boss because I came into this fight with only like half of a heart or something like that. Mind you, uh, we have a really good ability to build rage on this fight. It's just unfortunate that it seems so difficult for me to actually get into that boss and, and do some damage of my own. Rage is probably more or less capped out at this point, but each shot that we do uh, does, you know, maybe 5% of Duke of Fly's health, so 20 or so of those, and we'll be uh, able to go home, which is nice. Maybe a deal with the devil, although in order to pick it up, I would really have to get an HP upgrade after this, uh, this fight. We'll see, though. I, in a way, I almost want Pageant Boy so that I can just re-roll uh, Pageant Boy and then, 
or, or pick up pageant boy then re-roll it well we can't really do too much about that whole speed upgrade situation this is good though i mean uh we're, we're gonna be pretty underpowered compared to krampus and i expect to take some damage on this fight yet another good reason not to take um uh, not to play that blood bag or blood bank right off the bat we're gonna use bombs to make this happen we'll probably get a lot more bombs as a result of the uh the re-roll that we're gonna execute on that blood bag situation but pay a hopefully we also get the hp plus speed upgrade even though we are going to get a speed upgrade here i think it's important for us to get as many as possible uh especially when they come attached to hp upgrades so a little low on health uh that's a mistake on my part that will allow me to gamble a little less but we are going to get a lump of coal out of this as well which is fine now matthew mcconaughey that guy's a lump of coal if you ask me <laughs> true detective yeah you know you know what i'm talking about anyway uh, let's come down here. We should generate a lot of flies from this blood bank. I almost said it incorrectly again. Uh, truth be told, this isn't that bad. Because we can do that. And, uh, we can escape here. No, we're going to take a little bit of that. Uh, I'm going to go and we're going to pick up the full heart that's in here. And I'm, I do want to use the IV bag a little bit more. Not for the money necessarily, but because we can have a... Pretty good chance to buy something. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Um, actually, this is a little bit of a convoluted situation. We have the three cents, which we can use to buy a red heart, which is very useful. Um, and that will allow us to gamble a little bit more on the IV bag, thereby giving us more reroll targets. But I thought we'd come in here, and I may actually just prefer to get the compass. So let's look at this for a second. If I pick up two of these, then I can get the compass. This is a weird kind of mental gymnastics situation. This is borderline necessary, I would suggest. And we've kind of shot ourselves in the foot from a D20 standpoint, except that we can still do this a couple more times, like that. Uh, and then, I think at this point, I'm, there's only going to be three cents on the ground. I think we should just reroll these three cents. Or should I? Let me think about this. What I maybe should do is do this, pick up these three cents. Because we got four from that, didn't we? I can't remember. And uh, then we'll buy this, so that'll take us back to full health. And then we can come back here and get as much money as possible. We can play it another, like, six times and then re-roll it. And it's presumably we'll get some red hearts out of it. I picked up some and didn't mean to. Uh, there, that's what I was hoping for, is getting, uh, like, a nickel out of the situation. Uh, so we could get our money a little bit higher. Maybe buy a spirit heart. And uh, we're going to re-roll these five pennies. We got a spirit heart, three bombs, and safety cap. Well, we don't need to buy the spirit heart anymore. I wouldn't necessarily say this turned out fantastically for us, but we did get uh, the compass, so that's that's useful in and of itself. And we still have a decent amount of money. I'm going to take a sip of this coffee. Just spilled it all over myself. Wouldn't be so bad, except I'm in my underwear, so I have, like, um, you know, first-degree burns all over my fucking legs now. And I, you know, I wasn't able to really do what I wanted to do with the D20 there, but that's okay. We'll see if we can maybe make something better happen. A little bit later but for now we I mean we don't really have that much choice when it comes to the items that actually pop up because we don't have the d6 we have the d20 which is probably the inferior dice but still it's pretty did you see that fucking spider oh my god that was crazy town watch out for that pill that could have gotten me killed thank god there's a spirit heart in there okay safety cap doesn't mean good pills just more pills we teleported into the boss room uh, it's a fight against peep it's a champion version thereof it looks like a shoots faster like it's no maybe not I maybe I'm just talking out of my ass um, with lump of coal we should be able to do some damage but this is going to be a uh, it's gonna be a long and drawn-out fight if I had to guess uh, peep apparently the only thing it does is uh, jump jump and shoot there is no time when it just stands still and puts creep on the ground except for right now because proving me wrong was more important than being an asshole uh, now the jumps are all out of whack and seriously like look at this shit Please stop jumping for a goddamn second. And the, the eyes are blocking the shots. This should be an easy boss fight. Just a long boss fight. And, and those are sometimes the most frustrating of all. Seriously, eyes, stop blocking the shots. Uh, yeah, those are sometimes the most frustrating of all. But we are doing some decent damage now that we've had a, a brief second to kind of actually hit Peep. And uh, maybe he'll drop an HP upgrade along the lines of meat, which would be a very nice kind of coup for me. Sounds like a, a gross command, but I, don't, I didn't mean it like that. Now, 
Oh, what the hell? He jumped right on top of me despite me not even being in that area when he originally planned the jump. That's bullshit, peep, and you know it. A little bit of a tense fight here. I'm feeling a little bit uh, like this is intense, like a circus fire, etc., etc. So I just got as far away from that fucker as is Samsonly possible. Samson is the person, I suppose. Now, sneak some shots in this way. Thank you, I, for blocking what was already, like, the most difficult shot I've ever tried to accomplish in Isaac. There we go. Uh, definitely did not deserve a deal with the devil, but I didn't think I deserved a shot speed upgrade either. I still picked it up, even though, yes, I know it makes, uh, um, what was I going to say? Oh, Mom's Pad. Fantastic. No, it makes, a uh, Lump of Coal worse. I picked it up for the possibility of a good tarot card. And to be honest with you, uh, Two of Diamonds is a very good tarot card because, as mentioned earlier, I've kind of got, uh, money issues in this game. God damn it. I've kind of got money issues in this game because uh, the D20 kind of incentivizes not picking up money. Because if there's pennies on the ground, you just let them stay on the ground, effectively. Uh, but Two of Diamonds, on the other hand, I don't know if I can actually get to that. Two of Diamonds, on the other hand, allows me to get money without actually being tempted by the possibility of... Uh, you know, re-rolling them into something else, so, or re-rolling the pennies that would make up that money into something else. So we are almost at 15 cents here. If I could just get one more penny, the key is fine as well. Uh, we don't have anything really to re-roll here. So this floor is looking a little wonky. We got a tears downgrade, a shot speed upgrade, mom's pad. Uh, that's not really what you want to get out of Catacombs Part 1 when you're in a little bit of a tricky situation. This is the end of this floor, uh, okay. What do we do about that then? Uh, yeah. Do we know what this pill does? We don't. So we'll take this. It's bad gas. We'll take one of these and re-roll the other two. Uh, there were three, I guess, there. Takes us up to nine cents. We will use a bomb to get this. And we may open up that golden chest now and see if there's just something that can maybe give me a little bit more hope in there. But we'll check for secret rooms, too. Maybe would have been more prudent to use, uh, my, uh, D6 or D20, sorry, on a secret room. But so be it. We actually got a 1-up, so the decision turned out to be, uh, the right one. Now, I will see if there's any fire in there. Or, sorry, there was obviously fire in there. I was gonna see if there was any money in there. There's a bomb in here. Two bombs. I'm not sure if we can get to them. Yeah, you know what? We will open this up. One... Wow, that was lucky. Uh, one bomb and one key to get three bombs is, uh, an okay trade. A little bit better than, than average. And we will double up here, uh, with two of diamonds and get the map. So map plus compass is basically the only saving grace right now. We're leaving the Catacombs Part 1, the third floor of the game, with one extra HP compared to where Samson's normally at, a 1-up, Infestation, Tears Downgrade, yeah, we'll take that, Tears Downgrade, the D20, which admittedly is pretty good, uh, and Lump of Coal, which again, admittedly is pretty good. Before we go to that secret room, oh my god, really? Because I, I don't, I just don't take chocolate milk. I, I realize that in some situations it might be the right thing to do, but I can't bring myself to, to deal with the tedium of it. You know what? Maybe we'll try it out. It's been forever since I took chocolate milk, so I'm gonna, I'll give it a try. I don't think there's anybody out there that's gonna be like, you fucker, you took chocolate milk. It actually seems like a pretty good item to take a Samson. Um, oh, thank God. We got a health upgrade there. Seems like a pretty good first item to take a Samson because if our, um, or not first item, but item to take a Samson because if our original damage is not very good, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, well, let's try it this way. If our original damage is not very good, then, uh, one chocolate milk shot can nullify that a little bit. Didn't want to reroll that because we have enough money to possibly make the shop worthwhile. It is still annoying to not be able to hold down the button, but I'll survive. Just a bit of annoyingness to tap it out here. I prefer safety cab now, knowing there's a health upgrade pill in our rotation here. It looks like an upside down face in the ground there. So I'm just going to get my uh, full D20 charged up. Bad damage. Because uh, if I get my full D20 charged up and the secret room contains like 9 cents and it's predominantly in penny form, then I can uh, reroll the crap out of that and that'll be good for business. Do we know what this pill does? No, I'll take it. Bombs are key. I wish I'd picked up that key first, but this is actually good because it does now give me an out where I can actually get to the, the shop and the item room. I had zero keys there, which is why I have zero bombs now. And our damage is still pretty terrible here. I wonder if I, if I tap as fast as I was like holding the button down, I guess our rate of fire can't possibly suffer as a result, huh? 
Uh, we still can't go to this mob trap room yet. We're gonna need to get a little bit more HP. It should happen. A little disappointed that we didn't find an arcade on this floor, but I guess I did go into this floor with three cents instead of the typically requisite five. Come on. i just like, oh god, that was close. One full chocolate milk shot does not do as much damage as you would normally expect uh, a shot of that caliber with an item of that dubious quality to do. Now, there we go. More money, we'll pick it up because we need to get to 15 cents. I imagine we probably will fight a mini boss on this floor, and you know what? That's A-OK -okay by me. Has to happen sometime, might as well get it out of the way when we have five keys. And man, with three hearts? You thinking what I'm thinking? We could actually float a deal with the devil on this floor. I know it seems crazy. Now we will re-roll money if we find it. Um, yeah, we could, we could get a deal with the devil and actually, you know, stand a chance of improving our chances and maybe actually succeeding on this run as a result. I know it seems like a crazy uh, harebrained scheme, but trust me, it's worked in the past. There we go. Knocked him down finally. And, uh, you know, damage is, is not going so hot right now. I'll pick up that nickel as well. Uh, we could re-roll this, let's be honest, but I think it's best to just not instead. And save it for the secret room. Or we can always use it on a future room. That's another health upgrade that's... Oh, that was stupid of me to pop it right there, but that's okay. We've got the D D20. Uh, it's so tempting to say D6. So hopefully the secret room... I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if it actually contains greed, to be honest with you. That means our shop would not contain greed. Oh, I have no bombs anymore. Okay, so we'll go to the secret room, or the uh, the shop, and the reason I say we go to the shop is greed oftentimes drops like nine cents. We can reroll those, and that'll be good D20 usage, or there'll be items. There's items. Um, I mean, I'll buy this half red, or this full red heart, and I'll buy the key as well. And I did this so that we can go, actually go to the mob trap room and possibly get a bomb. That's really, I mean, we could possibly get two D20 rerolls on this floor. Maybe, I'm not totally sure. Allow me to caffeinate as I head down to the mob trap room down here. And on the bottom left, I'm expecting, let's be modest in our appraisal of what we'd expect here. Skeleton key or a fetus item? No, it's just a stupid old chest. Alright, well, I don't know what that pill does, but it has conjured up bad uh, emotions for me in my brain, which tells me that it's probably a tears downgrade, <clears throat> if I had to guess. We'll see here. Human popcorn not going to be much of a hassle at all. We may end up taking some damage from the flies, but I doubt it. That's another thing we could really use on this run. Uh, and it has improved on this floor. We've doubled our existing health, which is amazing. Uh, but I could really use uh, some orbitals to make me feel like I stand a chance in hell against those uh, late game bosses. Which, as of right now, not necessarily thrilled about that idea. Okay, two pills. One is telepills, <clears throat> and the other one is, we don't know. Pretty fly! Well, okay, there, that solves my orbital issue. And we, again, we could have rerolled those, but I don't want to, but we got bombs that we can use to go to the secret room, so we'll use, you know, I guess if I wanted an orbital really badly, I could buy Book of Revelations. But, and it would give us a uh, spirit heart and guaranteed cube of meat, but I'm just gonna let the chips fall where they may instead. It's a slot machine. I don't really want to waste any more resources of any kind going for that. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll find a room of usefulness somewhere up here. So, just give it a second. And if I just keep tapping the button as quickly as possible, you can't hurt me. If I close my eyes, the monsters can't get me. If I can't see you, you can't see me. It sounded like I almost quoted some like Nine Inch Nails lyrics there or something. And you know what, if we end up not finding a suitable room anymore, there, there were probably rooms that were suitable, but I botched it. If we end up not finding suitable rooms to use, that was so bad of me. That, that was way worse. Uh, if we end up not finding suitable rooms to use the D20 on, then that's fine. I'll just save it for the next floor. It's always nice to have it uh, at specific moments when it's most useful, not just when it's ready. So we'll get the G, or the, I was gonna say the Gish 6. Um, which wouldn't really make any sense, because obviously we're rolling with the Gish 20 right now. My favorite rap group from the Detroit era. Detroit era? Detroit area. But also the Detroit era. Pistons won the World Series, the World Series, the NBA Championship around that time. I'm going to be a little bit ballsy here. We got flies for it, which is not adequate compensation. That's okay, though. Is this a good pill? I, I always assume that the orange pill's good. This is not the case here, though. I mean, there's no reason not to take telepills. 
Unless it would maybe put us inside of the curse room, which could kill us, but that would be funny at least. Uh, it could kill us if we lose a little bit more HP, obviously, is what I'm trying to get at. Oh, that was bad damage. Okay. Well, um, there's not too many other ways out of this, so what I'm thinking is we'll, we'll drop in here. We'll see who the boss is. It's Gertie. Gertie Gertie should be pretty easy. I mean, it's a boss fight I've done 230,000 times before in the past, so um, we'll just we'll take care of it as soon as possible. We should get some uh, red hearts for finishing it. I really doubt that I will get any uh, deal with the devil, and to be honest with you, I don't really feel like I deserve one on this floor, so that's fine. Shit happens. Build up our rage a little bit more if we can. And I, I'd really genuinely mean if we can, because we may actually be at, at the full damage bonus already. And so far this fight has gone very, very well, I would say. We've used some bombs to make it happen, and now we can't take any damage, or we will lose forever. I really can't fathom the idea of losing against Gertie. So please, if there is a benevolent RN Jesus out there, don't let it happen. Don't let it happen. Kill the flies. Okay, that was really scary there for a split second. Okay, we made it. There's a pentagram, which is amazing, and a spirit heart, which will keep me alive ever so slightly longer. Pretty scary. Probably should have tell pills at the end of that, but I was really worried about ending up in the curse room. Hopefully you can understand my, uh, my anxiety about that. Now, we could easily lose a spirit heart on this room, just by virtue of the fact that uh, these guys do one damage each, and the AI creeps up on you, man. Uh, Pentagram is a, a really good upgrade, don't get me wrong, but is it a game winner? No. It, it can supplement, there goes our spirit heart, it can supplement a game winner. We know what this pill does. Bombs are key. I'm okay with our current situation. We know the white pill is telepills. Let's see what we've got inside of this chest. Um, I don't even want the nickel at this point, so I think we're just going to reroll everything. Do we know what orange does? It's bad gas, right? So let's reroll all this. Uh, okay, this is this is fine. This is actually pretty good. So we got a red heart. That was the most important thing. Samson's lock is okay. With six keys, we'll definitely open these. We got a range upgrade, a little bit more money. Uh, I, that was a good swing. Could have been better, but certainly uh, could have been catastrophically worse considering the position we were in to start with there. Uh, I'm really <laughs> feeling the burn, man, of not having very much damage. And we're only one hit away from death here. I almost just took it. You'll never know. In my brain, we actually just got hit. But in, in real life, we didn't, so that's cool. This Leaper is the greatest competitor of all time. We got very lucky to not die there. And I theoretically should be fine here, but these guys are relentless. There we go. Three dead. Kill this fire so you don't have to deal with that. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, thank God we have the one up. I was actually, like, afraid there of what I what the reaction would be and what I would do to myself for, for losing in such a stupid way. Thank God we got that one up. That was, um, one of the worst, uh, one of the worst losses I've had in a long time, but we're still alive here. Inside of our item room, we get teleport. This is not gonna help us out very much. Keep, we're still, we're actually in a better position now. I, I feel a little bit of the pressure has come off. We're not gonna go to that secret room until we get the D20 charge, because there is a chance that, uh, a D20 could end up being able to reroll six or nine things. That's not just me making a 69 joke. I'm far too serious for that right now. Um, that's me making a joke. Uh, or that's me being honest, actually. Believe it or not, for once in my life, not being sarcastic. I imagine we'll probably end up fighting Greed in the shop because it's just been too long since we fought Greed. Uh, I'd be very surprised if we didn't. I did not think I was close enough to get hit by that, but that kind of exemplifies... My poor play so far today. This might be a good room to reroll too. Uh, so we're gonna try to leave as much of this money here as we can. I took the key because keys are probably more valuable than what we would get from rerolling them in in most cases. And given that we don't have like 99 keys right now anyway, damage it like it's weird. But despite getting the pentagram on the last floor, I almost feel like I'm doing less damage now than I was doing before. Obviously, that's not true. This had to happen. Uh, obviously, that's not true, but uh, it is the way that I feel about it. Maybe it's because uh, at the end of that Gertie fight, I had, like, full rage buildup. So that could make the difference. I'm pretty sure the pentagram is worth less than full rage buildup uh, on base damage. So here's the thing. We may want to reroll... Um, we may want to reroll this room. There's plenty of shit in here. We could reroll that key, even though I just talked about not doing that. We're definitely going to pick up this because... Obviously, we're not going to ever need that money for anything else, and uh, the, the shop was better. There were like six things in the shop. Let's see what we got in the secret room. 
Uh, okay, you know what? We'll just take the six cents here and we'll reroll whatever's in the shop. It was probably better to reroll that and take what's in the shop because, uh, you know, there's a key in there. So fucking be it. No big deal. Let's see what we got in here. There was actually uh, more than six things anyway. There were eight things, including the key. So we'll reroll all of those. We get Maggie's Faith, which is maybe the, the star of the show here. And we got uh, way more money. Uh, if Actually, we could get another. Oh, that's a health upgrade. Um, let's just back up here for a second. We could get another reroll and use it here, but I actually think that I'm, I'm content with what we've got so far. We'll take Maggie's Faith with us. We'll fight the boss. It would be nice to get some spirit hearts to supplement this, but yeah, we may actually get another uh, D20 charge because we're a little bit later into the game now, and the floors are a little bit larger. Now, um, yeah, that was uh, pretty poor damage on my part. That's not going to really let Maggie's Faith fly too much, but we're only going to have it for like one more floor anyway, and actually, if we're only going to have it for one more floor, I think I might rather go with the safety cap because I know there's a health upgrade pill in the rotation. You may or may not agree with that, but I think that might be the best way to handle it. So I'll, I'll take Maggie's Faith into the fight for no reason other than convenience, and then we'll see how things go from there. So I want Gish to summon as many uh, enemies as is Gishly possible so that we can build our rage up quickly. And that was bad, uh, bad damage on my part. We're not going to lose against Gish. That would be nearly unfathomable. Not to say that, you know, worse things haven't happened, but uh, it, it would make me feel pretty ter about, terrible about our whole situation here if that actually ended up being the defining narrative. Two deaths on the Depths Part 1 after getting the Pentagram and a decent amount of HP upgrades. We haven't been given the, you know, the Golden Goose on this run at all. It's been a very difficult run, in fact. Uh, keep in mind how many, like, you know, Tears downgrades have shown up, how little usefulness there's been in the item rooms. In particular, um, you know... What we, we found Mom's Pad, we found, uh, did we find Monstro's Tooth? I can't remember, that might have been the last run. And we found, um, whatever we found on this floor, Teleport, which is totally useless for us. Why is Gish, uh, right now, the greatest bomb thrower of all time? Like, I've never seen Gish with this level of efficacy before. There we go, we did it. Barely. We got Little Gish, which is an awesome upgrade, that fly's just gonna hang out, I guess. And we're just gonna move along here. Want to milk the rest of this floor because who knows what bullshit awaits us on the next floor. There could be a... No, there can't be anything else because we have compass. With compass and map, um, we can be confident in our cynicism that we're pretty much done with this floor. Now, Gish is a good item. Especially on uh, stationary foes. Stand still in the middle of the map. It'll be very useful for us. We could, if possible, find a room to use our uh, D20 on. But I'd rather save it than use it on a room with, like, two pennies in it. What I should have probably done is just not taken the money from the secret room. But I didn't internalize yet that um, we would be on a floor large enough for me to possibly get uh, two D20 rolls. So, so be it. We are where we are, basically. And uh, tarot card is definitely not something we're going to re-roll, even though the tower card is god-awful. But yeah, I'd rather save it and maybe, you know, we end up running across a very early arcade on the next floor. And obviously that is worth way, way more from our uh, D20 reroll standpoint than uh, just rerolling a single penny or a couple of bombs or something like that would be. Even though it's tempting to use the D20 as much as possible, and maybe that is actually the right strategy. I still think we're in a pretty good situation here. Just don't let me forget, and that means that I've got like an extra 20% chance to forget now, because I'm placing the onus on somebody else, some weird psychological phenomenon I worked there. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, oh, a little scary. I'm, I'm definitely wanting to take the safety cap with me because especially with the D20, you know, you're going to get more consumables when you reroll things. We could reroll pennies into pills, which sounds like, uh, you know, it could be a, an, another 8 mile reference, but it's not. Uh, and uh, those pills have a pretty good tendency to be health upgrades. They could be tears downgrades as well, as we've seen. And that's really kind of the sore spot for us on this run so far. Of course I'm going to be going to this, uh, I can reroll that live bomb. Um, of course I'm going to be going to this curse room here, unless it would actually kill me to do so, which it's looking increasingly likely that it would. You know what? Maybe we won't end up going to this curse room. I would have a half heart available as of right now. Sure, let's reroll it. There we go, and we got uh, two of clubs as a result, which is well worth it. I mean, here's the thing. Why don't we just use the tower card and see if I could- I should have used the tower card and then rerolled it. Oh shit, that would have been awesome. Instead, I'm kind of a big dummy, but at least we need to get a two of clubs out of this and a little bit of, you know, mental safety for going into this room. We got some spiders, and in addition to that, 
Little Gish doesn't one-shot the tiny spiders, huh? That was uh, news to me. We got a live bomb. Uh, that would have been a better reroll target as well, but we're on to the next floor, and some things worked out for us on this floor, and some things didn't. I definitely think safety cap's the right way to go. I don't think Samson's lock uh, has long-term prospects for us. We'll just go down and to the left here, and hopefully we'll be able to... Ah, there was way more health in here I didn't even realize. Do we know what this is? Bombs are key. Are we sure we might as well? Because, you know, rather have a few more keys, especially when we have double the bombs that we have right now, or double the bombs that we will have very shortly. So allow me to caffeinate for a moment here. What did I tell you? Should have saved the D20, because there was an arcade right next to us. Anyway. It's fine, we'll be fine. We just, we know now, and it's actually a, an enviable position to be in, we know now where to use the, uh, the D20 on this floor. It's very unlikely that the D20 will be more useful anyplace else apart from the, uh, the arcade. And I'm not gonna use a key to get that. We will go to our shop, uh, at this point. Anything that gives the D6 a faster charge would be ideal. Keep in mind, what are our shop items so far? Map, compass, we've seen Book of Revelations, but that doesn't preclude it from showing up again. We'll see. It's okay, Ruka, how's it going? We found our second secret room. Please don't be an eternal heart. Oh, that's ideal, because now for bombs, we can go uh, play the Blood Bank forever, basically. They have notched axe in here, which is a funny joke for people who hate laughing. Uh, I'm not even going to buy a key. You know what, with 49 cents, why wouldn't I buy a key? Seems like that's a pretty stupid decision on my part. Uh, we just mainly focused on getting this reroll out here. And then, uh, I can do some seriously damning things on this, uh, arcade. Because there's a room full of ha of full red hearts. Which effectively means that I could probably play that blood bank 20 times. That's gonna give me an average of, like, 30 cents payout. And I certainly don't need the money. So we can... Reroll those into pills, reroll those into spirit hearts, reroll those into uh, into keys and bombs, reroll those into uh, golden chests that we can use those keys on. We're gonna be fighting Envy here, which strikes me as a pretty nasty boss fight. I'm not even noticing the fact that I have chocolate milk, by the way. I, I think I'm charging up shots before I go into rooms, but I'm not totally sure. If I'm just tapping it out here, that makes me a big dummy because I basically just gave my fingers an extra workout. Not that they don't need it, but let's... um. Keep things going here in this Envy fight. It's gone well so far. Good crowd control. Oftentimes, I think that these these Isaac runs... I know I'm playing a Samson, but these runs in the Binding of Isaac where I have um, adversity at the start of it, and uh, sometimes a lot of adversity at the start of it, they end up making me a better player, uh, not overall, maybe, but on the, uh, on the remainder of the run. And I do feel like I'm starting to piece together uh, what I need to do. Like, my body's starting to adapt to what I need to do to actually win this run. And it's not easy... But it's uh, it's also not impossible. So I'm feeling I'm feeling good, feeling a little bit more confident, I think. And we know that there's no boss trap room. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was even worse. We know that there's no boss trap room on this floor, so we don't have to be uh, cautious about uh, or prudent, I should say, about the way that we kind of orient ourselves within the geography of the level. Let's just get back to full health, which uh, is not possible there. We might use a key to get that spirit heart in the future, but for now, there. All right, now we go uh, basically as hard as we can on this. And we'll get ready to use it. I don't want to use a reroll until the blood bag pays out. And I'm serious with respect to that. Um, until the blood bank pays out. And it will pay out with the blood bag, obviously, because um, we already had the IV bag show up earlier. So I, I don't care if I have to play it uh, 30 times. That's when we'll use our reroll if possible. It might not be possible. Now we have to be a little cautious here because I, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to pick up too much of this stuff. But I also want to get through the fucking door, so... Okay, there we go. So it's paid out. We're gonna pick it up, because we might as well. And then, before we reroll any of this stuff, we're just gonna keep uh, gambling a little bit. May pick up bombs. If bombs show up, I'll probably pick those up. Ah, but no, it's so much more useful, I think, to just reroll the shit out of it. Even though we do have two of clubs, we'll get more bombs for rerolling anyway. And basically what I'm doing here is just laundering uh, my money to create other stuff that we can reroll as well. So, this is the moment of truth. This is what I've been waiting for with the D20 for the entirety of the run here. My sweet ass fly phalanx will protect me completely. I don't even think there's a need for that spirit heart. That pretty fly is an awesome pickup. More bombs as well. Again, picking up the bombs might be a prudent idea. 
Please tell me I'm not gonna crash completely the, uh, the arcade by doing this. Uh, okay, that pill, do we know what it is? Tears downgrade. Fuck that forever. Uh, get out of here. Uh, more keys. Also very tempting, but at this point, I'm re-ruling everything, because just for absurdity's sake. And how low are we gonna go? Um, I thought that was a, a third pretty fly. I was pretty excited. How low are we gonna go? Maybe we'll play until 20 cents. I'm actually, at this point, just worried about crashing the game, because we're re-rolling, re like, 30 things. Uh, and we've had pretty good luck here. So, two more plays. We can always come back. Come on, get this going. Two more plays, and uh, this is the last play right here. Nothing there. We re-roll it. Uh, that's a lot of shit. Watch out for the tick. That should be a no-brainer. Um, let's open some of these golden chests. More money. There's actually an eternal heart in there, too. Hard to see. More money. Um, this is an even better room to re-roll than before. Let's get some of this shit out of here. Oh my god, this room is so slow. Uh, I do want to take the keys if possible. We'll have to take some hearts to do it. And we'll do like... I'm taking the bombs, some of the bombs as well at least. And there we go. So I, I consider that to be okay. And then with our next reroll, we'll basically just come back there. I don't really want to gamble anymore, because it's just... I don't know, that room looks kind of scary right now. It was getting really slow and sluggish in there. Uh, but yeah, we got an HP upgrade, and, uh, you know, that's kind of about it, but... That's okay, too. We, we've got another uh, reroll potentially coming. Not potentially, it should be coming, unless we have a really easy back half of this floor. We also have an item room available, which I haven't even talked about yet, because that was not at all the focus of this run for me. Uh, after I got the D20, and after item room started forsaking me and not giving me useful items in the least. In fact, I, I can't remember the last floor where I've been like, oh, that we we really left that floor with a lot of advantages that the game saw fit to imbue us with. Um, oh, okay, never mind, we got the wafer. That's a, an amazing item. Probably drastically improves our chances of success. It's actually plausible that we won't get another reroll here, which is disappointing. Uh, I'm just looking at the layout of the levels, and I'm like, you know, uh, it's theoretically possible if one of the rooms on the way to the boss doesn't have a uh, doesn't have a fight in it, then we won't be able to reroll again on that arcade, which would be disappointing. But we've had our fun, at least I think, and we'll still find secret rooms on the womb that we can use to uh, to get as many rerolls as possible. Or to get to reroll as many things at once as possible, because uh, you know, that's more the focus of using the D20, I suppose. Now, just take these guys out one by one. We're still not super strong here. Uh, Damage-wise, we're pretty inept compared to a lot of the enemies we're going to be facing. Please tell me, yes, you do have enemies in this room, which is very nice. Otherwise, things would be rough for me. There we go, and might as well pick this up. Please. Okay, good. So we are going to get another reroll. And, uh, what do I want? Man, I don't know. Good, like, Temperance-style tarot cards. I wasn't too worried about taking damage, given our current situation. Temperance-style tarot cards, um... More golden chests that could contain items, anything along those lines. Temperance would be amazing, though, because we could start the whole process anew. Anyway. Uh, let's make our way up here, and... I didn't think there was anything we wanted to buy in the shop. So we'll just go back to the arcade. And uh, might as well pick up one of these and then reroll the rest. So, we get some more golden chests. We get a pill. That's a tears downgrade, if I remember correctly, and I do. Uh, we also have this over here, which is a health upgrade. So, it was all worthwhile for that health upgrade. And we're not going to get another reroll, so we might as well pick up everything here, right? Uh, we got the sun card, which means that what we'll do is we'll. Oh, I didn't mean to gamble there. It's okay. It's not a big deal. We got the devil card as well. Um, well, oh my god, what is this? Bad gas. Just pop that, get that out of the way. Um, so we're gonna be taking the sun card with us, even though we have the devil card. What that means is that, uh, I am going to pick up two of clubs, play it. We go up to 36 bombs. Don't really want to win that money. And we'll just leave, and that, that worked out pretty well for us, I would say. So let's make our way down a little bit further, and... Fight Mom, we got another HP upgrade as a result of our troubles there, and the Sun card, and the Wafer. That's a pretty big coup in and of itself for this floor. It's a long run so far, don't get me wrong. Starting to feel my voice coming back though, which is nice. That's what you get for going to three conventions in two and a half months, I suppose. And uh, it's Blue Mom. This is the hardest version of Mom, but also gives us maybe the best chance to build Rage, or at least compared to Red Mom. It, it does, uh, which is fine. There is a tinted rock. I would really love to get the small rock uh, out of that. Whether or not that's going to be possible uh, remains to be seen. Now, 
Uh, if I can just get mom to continually fall on these spiders for me, that would be ideal. Not that one, obviously, apparently. And there we go. Got some real damage done there. And oh, I got hit by the eye, actually. That's weird. The hand didn't even pop out. I just literally got hit by the eye. And that time, I didn't get hit by the hand. That was a little strange. I don't really care if I have to use a bomb to get that tinted rock. We have 36 of them at the moment, so uh, that, that's more than enough. We will wait till the fight's over to put down that bomb, though. There's no points for being fancy. Uh, actually, there are points for being fancy. They're called likes and subscriptions, I suppose. But I'm not a fancy pants player. I'm a, I'm a little bit of a pansy pants player. Aren't you a little pansy pants, Ryan? Oh, that's uh, just all these moments from grade school flooding back to me now. Like a Dutch dam. Please. There we go. We got an HP upgrade, which is basically what I needed. Uh, almost hit that rock and knocked myself down to the next level without picking up the Polaroid or the HP upgrade, which would have been hilarious. Uh, another pretty fly is actually wonderful here. So there we go. We have, uh, we have our full suite of orbitals. Truth be told, that was fairly quietly a really good floor. And I'm not going to worry about any of these other special rooms here, except I may, uh, if, if, are we going to get a reroll? No, we're not going to get a reroll, so fuck this secret room. Um, yeah, uh, pretty quietly, that was a good floor. We picked up two-thirds of a full suite of orbitals, taking us to the full suite of orbitals. Two HP upgrades, one speed, uh, three HP upgrades, sorry. Blood bag, a pill, and the, uh, and the, uh, item from the boss. And consumables, like a lot of consumables, more than we could ever possibly need. And what did I buy on the, it was notched axe actually in the shop, so I didn't buy that because, I mean, there's an item, if you're talking about items for, for rebirth, that needs to be touched. Because that is uh, not necessarily the worst item in the game, but if I had posed a question to you, what's the worst item in the Binding of Isaac, and you said notched axe, I would find it kind of hard to argue with you. The painter's pinky eye. Um, we're going to be fighting Conquest here, which is either good or awful. Why is it either good or awful? Uh, Conquest gives, is a hard fight, so that's the, the awful part to start with. And then it'll either, actually, you know what? It's either awful or awful, because it will either give us a cube of meat or a, um, or the white pony. Cube of meat is awful, because we already have a full suite of orbitals, and none of them are cubes of meat, so it wouldn't even be an upgrade, it would just be a lateral move. Like an aesthetic change, basically. Maybe Cuba Meat does more damage if uh, if it hits enemies, like if it orbits into them. But yeah, that's not very good. Uh, there's probably an argument to be made for White Pony being a better item than D20 at this point. I don't think many people would want to make that argument, though, because D20 is more fun. So I, I think I'm just going to, no matter what it drops, I'll just ignore it and treat this as if this floor was just like a, a bonus challenge round for assholes. And uh, I always take this much damage on the Conquest fight, so I don't feel too bad about it. That being said, uh, hopefully we earn a deal with the devil. I don't know if we've necessarily deserved one, but I would like to get one, because one item could make a big difference in our uh, in our chances here. I've got to deal with the angel. Roughly the same thing, huh? Again, white pony might be more fun, but or it might might be better, but D20 is more fun. Hey, we got the miter. The miter is really good. I apologize for those iPad sounds, by the way. Let me move this bad boy elsewhere. Excuse me, Mr. iPad. Um. It's because Kate just posted a uh, a video of uh, Ruka and Tomo, our cats, who I always yell at in these Isaac episodes. And uh, now everyone on Twitter is like, oh, they're so cute. And I'm like, yeah, you're fucking right they are. You think we'd buy ugly cats? Not that we have any predisposition specifically to, to cute cats, but they're the, even if they were the ugliest cats in the world, I would think they were cute. And Tomo's got a little bit of an E.T. thing going on, um, but I still think he's, uh, he's a little cutie patootie. Anyway. These flies don't do any damage, which is super annoying. Maybe that's why we should have gotten a, or should have hoped for a cube of meat. But, I can go to the secret room. So my thinking is, we will put this bomb down here. The miter's a good pickup for us, especially since we don't have little chat. Fuck it, we'll just reroll these three. We got a key and a penny instead of three pennies. And the missing page, but we don't talk about that. Now, a utero two should be relatively easy. Mom fight, uh, I don't know how I dodged through those. Uh, mom fight, I don't expect to be any easier than normal. I, I would expect it to be more difficult than normal because our actual damage is pretty poor. And what I'm really worried about is not, the, you know, this fight or this floor. I'm really, really worried about, uh, about how things go in the cathedral for us. 
this is, um, it's not an awful run. We have some good items. The wafer, pentagram, full suite of orbitals, d20, etc, etc. Uh, but it's certainly a lot weaker than I've been used to lately, so... If we end up being able to compete with Isaac, I'll be pretty pleased with it. And I haven't played particularly strongly on this run from a dodging standpoint, but at least from a, uh, like, a decision-making standpoint, I think I've done alright. And that maybe has allowed me to get as far as I've gotten here. This would have been a better reroll target for the d20, but there's no way to know what's coming room to room, I think, so... I say I think there, because, uh... I'm always surprised by some of the witchcraft that, uh, you know, the top 0.1% of Isaac players are able to pull off. So, you know the little, uh, you know, we put it in the spin cycle here for the opening fight against these turrets, just so we don't take damage, and then we take damage. Uh, that's just to give them a false sense of security, obvi obviously. So, get some shots in here. Uh, I, I was thinking about using chocolate milk to charge up the shots, but I think it's actually better if we just fire as quickly as possible. If we walk into a room, though, getting a first shot with chocolate milk seems pretty effective. So this should kill Monstro, like, right here. Uh, more or less, so... Uh, oh God, please die. Thank you. More bombs. That might have been placed a little early, and we didn't kill one of the Larry Juniors. Not as a result of that, but as a result of me hitting it. Which I guess is why you'd actually want to use a charged up shot, so that you uh, don't knock your own bomb out of the way. That's actually fairly smart. Uh, that one was fucked up. That's real bad. Now, we still have 30 bombs, so I don't feel too bad about it. And it, it's just gonna be a tedious fight. Uh, and we're gonna have to deal with Chad on this fight for sure. There's no way that we're getting out of this fight before Chad shows up. Alright, so get ready. Drop us a bomb. Monstro's back for the second time. Monstro's back, and he's gonna be in trouble. Hey now, hey now, the boss is back. Um... Okay, just be out of here for a second, and then destroy this boss. You should be dead. We'll place this down. Zambies? Zambies. Easy round. All right. Another bomb. Two of these uh, scum suckers, and then uh, another bomb, Duke of Flies, every time. All right. So now we will kill Duke of Flies, which should happen in like a matter of seconds here, because he's going to have the lowest HP of any of these rounds, I think, even if you count... Some of the weaker foes, and then Chad, or sorry, Chubb, that's what I meant to say. Permanent bombs? Permanent bombs, okay, that's good. So at least we, we didn't take the slowest time in history on this fight. Certainly it has been slow, but that's okay. Mom will do some damage to Chubb on her own. Mom's heart, I should say. I'm gonna do some damage to myself on my own, but again, luckily because of where we're at in the game, the, the wafer actually halves that damage to me. We get a spirit heart for our troubles. It's up to the next floor. I don't know how we do this, man. Oh, Curse of Darkness. That really is going to make um, compass and map useful here. Probably no need to use a bomb there. Yep. Uh, there it goes. Get trapped in there. Although I will say, for getting hit like four times, uh, the wafer makes it so we're still pretty well off here. There we go. And thank God we have that. Thank God we have the miter as well. And maybe, just maybe, thank God we have this judgment too. If you gave me something like Blue Candle, I would eat that up. Give me a win here. Give me a chance to win at least. What do you got? Key? That's fine. We can maybe use this as a reroll target. We're very unlikely to need 13 keys or 14 keys, I guess, at this point. Spirit Heart is not reroll targetable, so that brings its chances down a little bit, I would say. Just see what he pays out with. Uh, sure. HP upgrade. So this is not going to be a reroll room. I don't know when we're going to get another reroll room, to be honest with you. What else do we have here? What how what are our outs? This is always the most frustrating part of Isaac cuz I'm like what are what are my outs in this game? Fucking play better. That's that's my out. If I play better, I have a better chance of winning. Maybe not even a good chance, but a, a better chance. It's all like of all the the maladies that you can be struck with in Isaac, the worst one is definitely a lack of of damage. And we are suffering from that uh here even with rage, even with the lump of coal, even with the pentagram. Um we're, we're not we're not as potent as I would normally love to be. I mean, look at how long it's taken us to kill a couple of Lokis, and then remember that on the chest, we may have to kill three of them on the same room. If we even make it to the chest. But here's the other thing. This is a good thing, though. Uh, I think it's borderline impossible that we lose to Isaac, given that we have the Wafer and the Sun card. That's like having the power of four normal lives wrapped in one. Or sorry, I should say the health of four normal lives wrapped in one. Uh, because, yeah, I mean... We, uh, we can take twice as many hits before getting down to almost dying. And then, uh, we can go back to full health and do a little bit of damage, uh, by way of the sun card after things get really dire. So, 
I, I do think that we're in a, a pretty darn good position. For the spirit heart we just got here, we can at least check out the uh, curse room. And it's Guppy's Paw. Oh, shit. That changes everything. So, now we are in a very good position, I would say. Because we're going to have something like 30 spirit hearts. Uh, we won't have full health from the sun card anymore. So, we'll probably just want to use this as like a compass slash necronomicon style thing. Uh, but, for the invincibility that we get... This is well, well worth it, and keep in mind, the wafer still totally works. How did we not get hit there, right? Uh, the wafer still totally works, so, um... We're, we're actually kind of in a shitty position in the sense that none of our orbitals do damage, because if our orbitals did do damage... Oh, there we go, finally! If our orbitals did do damage, um, we could, uh, just walk into the enemy, like Isaac, for example, and probably, uh, take him out, but we can't do that. Alright, so we may want to use... I think we want to kill Greed. I know that I just wasted a bomb to make this happen, but I wanted to check out this room for a second. Uh, oh good, it's super greedy now. He's super greedy. Please don't drop the quarter. Just drop money. You know you just want to drop money. Don't drop the steam sale or some dumb shit like that that I can't possibly get any use out of at this point in the game. Just drop moolah. Oh god, okay. Full suite of orbitals is going to help us. It's just going to be... It's going to be long. That's what I'm trying to get at. This fight against Isaac is going to be long. This fight against uh, Blue Baby, if we make it there, is going to be longer. It's going to be quite a, uh, it's going to be quite a, uh, a war of attrition here, as we make it to the end. Good, he just dropped money, and the more money that falls, even better. I, might, I almost thought about letting like these greeds hit me a little bit more, just to get more, uh, more things to reroll. But we'll do it that way. We got two spirit hearts, which is pretty good, and a health upgrade, which. I don't think we can we can really make use out of at this point, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, we could maybe go back and use Guppy's paw, but. I don't know. I'm, I'm content with where we are, and I don't really want to mess with it, so let's just stick with the Sun card. I think we could go back and get two Spirit Hearts for it, because we'd lose... We'd lose one Spirit Heart walking into and out of the Curse Room. Uh, but then Guppy's Paw would give us three for the HP upgrade, so... I just don't want to risk it, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. Which means, AKA, I'm lazy. Which is also okay, because I already have, like, 32 Spirit Hearts or something like that. Probably not... Eh, maybe 32, actually. That's only, like... 10 HP turned into uh, hearts by way of Guppy's Paw, and we, we could have had that, to be honest with you. I really think we could have, but um, th this floor is really frustrating, especially because, you know, it's been a long run so far. There's nothing wrong with that, but I, I, I like long runs as well. At least I didn't die in 20 minutes like it looked like I was going to. Uh, but without having the ability to actually see where I'm going, it's, it's annoying as heck, because... I, I mean, I should be at the boss room like 10 times over by now. I just have no idea where to go, so I'm running into all the dead ends. Mind you, the curse room ended up being exceptionally useful for me. And there's uh, there's more than one way to win an Isaac game, and we're demonstrating that here. Uh, Golden Chest is actually a pretty good get for us here. Um, you, can, you can win with high damage, or you can win with just an absurd amount of health. That Golden Chest was basically just a waste of our time. Finally, here's the boss room. I'm just going to put a bomb down there, solve all of our problems, and... One quick swoop. Oh, the flies almost got me. Come on, good little greedy. You want to get smoked? You want to get smoked, bud? Just out for a rip, are you, bud? Anyway. All right. Let's do this, motherfucker. I'm going to stand on the other side of the level so the love of coal can do maximum damage. I am not going to dodge. I, I can't stress that enough. I can basically just sip my coffee while I play. Why am I not going to dodge? I always feel that with the full speed of orbitals, I'm more likely to get myself hit by dodging than I am by not dodging. And so far, it's worked out fairly well, except for that time. There's also no uh, no real impetus for me to, you know, run up and uh, hit him with my orbitals when I get hit because the orbitals that I have don't actually deal damage to enemies, weirdly enough. Pretty flies just, uh, just for defense, I think. They don't really do anything else. Uh, we just do less damage when we're up close. It does give me the opportunity to pop down a bomb, I suppose, but... Apart from that, not really uh, that worthwhile. So yeah, this is, um, you know, it's a tedious fight. Not that there's anything wrong with that necessarily. In some ways, the blue baby fight may actually end up being easier because I will not have to um, stick with base damage. I will have uh, flies that I can kill to get my rage at, uh, up a little bit and maybe it'll go a little faster. But for now, um, we'll just keep this up. Throw a bomb in there, maybe do some crowd control. Eh, a little bit. That's fine. We are getting Rage a little higher, finally, just in time for the fight to basically be over. We've been hit six times, that's seven now, and we still haven't seen our Spirit Hearts, so I feel pretty good, uh, especially considering we do have a, um, we do have the chest coming, where there's gonna be items there that maybe will provide us with, uh, value, hopefully, ideally. 
Still haven't seen our spirit hearts, but you know, I don't want to get hit eight times on every boss fight, but that's only four and a half spirit hearts. Hey, sorry, maybe we got hit nine times. Or maybe we got hit eight, that would only be four spirit hearts. Uh, either way, something was wrong with my sentence there. Let's head down to the chest and hopefully we'll get something worthwhile. Uh, Dead Bird is not it, Monster Manuel is not it, PhD is, well, we already know what like all of our pills do, but with PhD, that becomes a tiers upgrade. Suck on that game. Uh, all these other items are trash and I hate them, but we can pick up Dead Bird at least and move along. We at least got one tiers upgrade as a result of our, our troubles here. So I, I don't necessarily want to fight Greed here, uh, but we're, we've already kind of sunk ourselves into it. So I'm going to fight Super Greed. Why? Uh, again, reroll pedestal, man. And I was really hoping, and you, you probably saw me do it there, that I was hoping that I could bomb my way out of the secret room uh, on the backside or the underside there so that I could actually um, skip, like, what appears to be ten rooms. No such luck, though. Instead, we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way and actually beat the rooms. And we're going to have to come back to this room. I should maybe save some bombs. It's a lot of money, though. Uh, not a lot of money, necessarily, but a lot of, uh, a lot of opportunity. That's what it is. It's a land of opportunity with all those pennies there. And this is, I hope you'll forgive me for saying this, permission to speak freely, sir. Uh, this has been a little bit of a boring run. Not, uh, hopefully from like a gameplay standpoint and a commentary standpoint, it's, it's been exciting. But from my standpoint, it's been a boring run just because every room takes 15 minutes. But we're not really having to deal with that, that risk of, that thrilling risk of death, if you know what I mean. Like, we may die on this run, but it never feels like death is close, at least not yet. Uh, it just feels like every room is fucking tedious because of uh, the fact that, of course, we do next to no damage, apparently. So, we're fast enough to make it through there, albeit just barely. Let's drop this bomb down. Inside of here. Uh, another spirit heart, Mom's Pearl. is useful, but not as useful as uh, the Polaroid. Gives us more spirit heart drops, effectively. Hey, we got a free flying item. Again, this is like the second time in a row this has happened on the chest. It's a little too little too late, but so be it. I'm happy to have it regardless. We can still get hit by those. I don't know. I was trying to show off. I was like, check it out. I can fly over those poops now. No, you fucking can't. Now, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. I, I really don't want to use bombs here because I feel like I've already... Um, I'm going to get hit again. I almost got hit again. Uh, I feel like I've already uh, used more bombs than I should be using. Having 11 for the blue baby fight. If nothing else, it should speed it up a little bit, right? But uh, hopefully we get some more. Hopefully we get some more golden chests too, because fuck, man. Some, I, I'm, my true, like, rural... Can, everyone thinks Canadians are super polite, and that's uh, it's, uh, a... It's a stereotype that is not false. I will say that. But there is an element of, uh, you know, backwoods, like, rural Canadian culture, which you would expect given that a lot of Canada's population does live in rural areas. Uh, that reminds me a little bit of the American South, but with its own little northern flavor to it. You know, the kind of people that'll, uh, fucking... Fucking punch your lights out, bud. Breaking a Coors Light all over my new snowmobile. Maybe, like, backwoods Minnesota would be a good way to put it. But anyway, and I, and I don't wish those people ill will. I grew up with those people. Despite the fact that I talk like I'm trying to audition for, like, a Jane Austen novel sometimes. Uh, yeah, because you really audition for novels, like, all the time. Maybe that's why I'm a failed actor. Um, but yeah, like, I, I grew up in the country. I grew up with, uh, you know, salt of the earth type people. And uh, they're, they're, they're good folks, usually... But also, um, sometimes they will they will wish you dead, and I am I'm wishing uh, I'm wishing the game dead a little bit here. I want to smack it upside the gob. I do. Um, all right, so I'm gonna see if I can trick. You know what? I was gonna see if I could trick these super slots into like uh, blowing up the door so I could get out a little earlier. But instead, I think it's actually worth fighting them. There's a chance they could drop Bob's rotten head, and as fucked up as it is, Bob's rotten head might improve our chances of success. Uh, so why not? Otherwise they could drop a tarot card, and the sun card sh certainly isn't going to do us too many favors, so... We might as well, I mean, get rid of the sun card at this point, if we can pick up, like, a devil card or something like that, that'd be much better. Strength, etc. Actually, strength might be worse, because it would give us uh, a red heart, but whatever. We'll see. Come on, uh, Super Sloth. He's dead. He gave us, uh, the High Priestess. Can't remember how this works. But, what I do know is that, uh, if we take the sun card with us, maybe shoot our way through here... At the very least, we can, you know, use it on this room, and what did that do? Like, 10%? Oh, it actually did a lot of damage to them. I'll take it, at least. That hit both of them. I really thought that they would die there. Um, no such luck, of course. That would be far too easy. And we'll take the, uh, we'll take the High Priestess card with us into the 
blue baby boss fight. And I'm always skeptical because I think sometimes you use the... It, it, it hits you when you use it. I don't want that to be us. We'll see. I can't believe neither of these fuckers are dead. Their health bars are at zero. There we go. Uh, we'll come back this way, get the High Priestess card. And really just, I, I want a good like spacebar item at this or not even a good spacebar item, just a usable spacebar item at this point. But I do think there's basically a very low chance of us losing this run. That, I did not fast enough to do that, apparently. Uh, I do think there's a low chance of us losing this run. There's just a, also a low chance of us having fun while we win. Womp womp. It's just, it's that kind of frustrating Isaac run where it's like, well, love to do damage, sorry I can't, but I have uh, unlimited HP. It's like turning on god mode in like a, a first person shooter, but only giving you the starting pistol. You're like, oh, okay, here's the deal, alright, it's bedazzled. You can have uh, god mode, you can never take damage in a first person shooter, but you can also only use your fists. That actually sounds kind of hilarious, I'll take that deal. Maybe I shouldn't be complaining. Three Gertie J's, huh? Well... Um, I imagine Dead Bird will probably get it in uh, in the show here pretty quickly once I take damage, which amazingly has not happened yet. And we may be able to weed one out, actually. Oh, no, 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 okay, we're fine. One's dead. I think we're going to get out of this fight without getting hit. Why do I find Gertie Jr. so difficult? That was fucking easy. All right, here we go. High Priestess, do your dirty work. It worked, okay. Um, that did a decent amount of damage, to be honest with you. Let's go through the motions here and finish this off. Again, our damage is going to be a little bit better because we can actually kill these flies one way or the other. I'm going to find you. I'm going to get you, get you, get you, get you. Now, don't knock the bombs out of the way. Those are like my main damage dealer at this point. That Guppy's Paw pickup uh, will probably go down as the most boring game winner of all time. This is like the, you know, fucking 2001 New Jersey Devils or something here. 2003 New Jersey Devils. We're just playing the trap. Nobody's having a good time, but it's a it's a proven winning strategy. There's no way I couldn't take Guppy's Paw. It would have given us a, a much greater chance of losing. That would have been pretty silly of me, I think. Uh, so just dropping bombs like crazy. You still can't even see our spirit hearts. Uh, and thank God we got so many health upgrade pills and that safety cap, I suppose. But for now, um, that's going to do it. We've, we've won. Not technically yet, but effectively. Um, kill you, and kill you, and that'll do it. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a, it was a long one. Uh, as always, if you did enjoy the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.